Hello, hello, it's Adair Palmer here and welcome to another episode of Friday Facebook Fix. And I didn't put my, let me just turn my notifications off. So, and now I've lost, there we are, ah, I'm back. Oh, wow, one of those mornings, it's been absolutely crazy. I have... Um, sent out a heap of emails and uh, subscribers to many chat have been notified that we've got to do a friday facebook fix health check on a business page live today at 9 30 a.m australian central daylight time but guess what i have been having so many issues this is like really really interesting learning roy sent me a voice clip i'm gonna have to just Check in with you after, Roy, but check this out. Um, I'm, I've downloaded, re-uploaded Chrome, and it's I'm do, doing it in Firefox. It's I, I have no access to the internet. I've turned off my modem, and I'm uh, hotspotting that thing <laughs> on my um, on my laptop. So it's been. Really, really an interesting morning because normally I've spent, you know, I normally spend the, the hour and a half or two hours before I go live making sure everything's working and, you know, rocking on. And uh, they, you know what happens? Um, I just spent the last two hours troubleshooting my internet speeds and now Google Chrome and now I've got no access at all to my desktop which is a bummer because I can't do a B live which is I need to do that so I can share screens to do a health check but the upside is I'm still here uh, sorry it's wobbling around a bit I didn't even get a chance to get the um get the tripod out I just thought you know what I'm going for it I'm just gonna do it anyway because this technology is when it works it's freaking amazing when it doesn't it's freaking annoying but uh, Gordana is here and I'm trying I'm gonna go I'm gonna like your comment Gordana because I'm trying to put it up on the screen like we do with be live and it's like no we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way today I am just going to look I'm holding the phone I'm talking I've got no fancy um, program to you know sort of put up lower thirds and I had some pretty Christmas ones that I'd done a frame thanks to Molly Mahoney it showed me how to actually do a frame on uh, on using odd oh, she did it on pick monkey but I actually used canva for my frame and then I've done a heap of frames and then put them up and I was so looking forward to showing that off today but there will be next week so I've got uh I've got the better part of a week to try and get this sorted and uh, so if anybody knows of anyone who's got any expertise with um, with what I'm dealing with is uh, I'd love to hear from you. I've just had my computer overhauled, it's had more memory, it's got a new like hard drive put in it and uh, so it shouldn't be the computer, I think it's the internet so I'm not quite sure. That's about the extent of my expertise in that area so but what i will ask you to do is if you can help me get the word out gordana i really appreciate you being here there's probably a heap of people that are sitting over on the other broadcast which i can't even access like i was um or oh, if i can get into many chat i could stop the broadcast going out that i'm going live uh, but there's you know there's probably people sitting over there which is probably either above or below this broadcast, waiting for me to go live on that particular broadcast. But uh, Gordana, you, I know you didn't have the link, so you probably just, uh, you're one of the lucky ones. So anyhow, it is a, I think what, what this is, it's, um, I suppose it's a lesson, a lesson to, really get super duper uber uber organized uh, like i was up at five o'clock this morning doing my weight training because i didn't want to you know i wanted to do some stuff here and get some more stuff done for friday facebook fix uh, but like i said uh, i don't know at the point where you it's not like i just rolled out of bed 10 minutes ago and went oh shit it's like anyway i'm gonna stop banging on about it because <laughs> there's nothing i can do about it what i will do is we'll invite you if you haven't already got the health check tool i'm going to run through it 
in the next 20 minutes or so and just give you an outline on how to use it for your business page because I can still give you value even if I can't do it fancy pants way like you know um, using the uh, you, using all the bells and whistles having a platform like be live but I would really really appreciate it if you did share if you hit the share button on this I don't know if you can do it while you're live still on a Facebook broadcast hit the share button give me some love let me know that you're here because you know it's sort of it's been a little bit frustrating but I've been going all right well what can I be grateful for and what can I learn out of this I said I'd stop banging on about it didn't I what you can do is thank you Godada <laughs> back to you too what you can do is grab your health check tool your health checklist it looks like this do, do, do. this really is the old-fashioned way isn't it it looks like this um, you can get it from the it might be there or it might be there it's under the menus tab on your uh, on the business page where I'm brought live streaming to right now where I'm broadcasting to right now there's a little tab that says get your free copy of the Facebook biz page health checklist you can download that and have your own uh, electronic copy so you can grab that uh, and I will run you through it this of course will be available on my page after I finished live broadcasting so if you want to come back to it what you can do is have a look through go uh, go through the, the health checklist and sort of watch look at it while I'm, I'm running through it with this broadcast and come back next week because I will do my damnedest to have it all sorted and then I will do a health check a live health check on someone's business page now this is something that um, that I do gift often but um, ah and uh, Gordana saying she was working on the health check in the early hours this morning I saw that you were up at stupid o'clock <laughs> so was I but you were in bed were you so I don't know if you ever sleep so <laughs> Uh, so uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, next for the next few weeks up until Christmas is offer uh, my services this is actually valued at $195 to do a health check on your page so uh, for one lucky person each week I'll be able to I'll do a health check live it might be a little bit intimidating and I know when I had mine done um, by uh, Kim Gast and I was sort of sitting there with like what you gonna say how's that you know and it sort of passed with flying colors no way so that was cool but I know the beauty of this is when I can use this tool the health checklist tool to actually figure out what's going really really well on your page and I do it to my own as well and what you can improve on so it's not about being perfect it's never about being perfect what it is about is continuous improvement and the fact that you've got a business page at all is a brilliant start now there's about 75 million business pages on Facebook and uh, and I would imagine that there would be probably 74 million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine ninety six eight no well anyway big very small numbers of pages that are run really really well and I would put mine in the category of sort of uh, wanting to be up there running well uh, Murray Smith calls them outliers the ones where where people are just flocking to and they're getting lots of engagement and they are uh, delivering content that people want to see they're uh, amazing pages but they are definitely what she calls what Murray calls outliers and outlier and we could we can all aspire to to something like that but uh, just having a business page is a start because I do know people who have businesses who run their businesses through their personal profile and uh, seriously while it might seem like a good idea at the time you can't scale up when you do that sort of thing so if you are one of those people think about it seriously create a page and just get started and so there's other people that run their uh, 
businesses just through their page and don't use their personal profile either. Um, again, think about it seriously. This is outside the scope of what I... Uh, Joe, you're brilliant. You are so on the Christmas list. Joe has put a um, a link down here, and it is for the health check. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please say yeah, Joe. Oh my God, you're going straight to heaven, boy. <laughs> you really are. When you that's it, you're going straight to heaven. Oh my God, that is awesome. You you're always there. You've got my back. Yeah, you're brilliant. Love it. Joe, pop your link in there. Rebel Web Solutions, greatest troubleshooter. He's just, he's always there. He's always helping. And uh, he's even been my timekeeper at times when I've, when I've needed to, uh, to be kept on ta track and on task. So thank you, Joe. You rock. You rock. Awesome stuff. Let's get on with this. Uh, someone's, okay. Yay, I'm getting, yeah, give me some uh, uh, thumbs up. Give me some thumbs and some hearts. I'm needing it this morning. Okay, getting on with this. Once you've downloaded your health checklist, you'll see it comes in sections. The first section, you probably won't want to bother with your information, which is there. But the first section is the cover page, uh, cover pic, and uh, profile. Um, sorry, your cover image and your profile pic. The first section is really, really important because um, Joe as he does websites, will tell you that the top third is what people see when they come to visit your page or your website or your business page. It is the most important, most valuable real estate that you will ever have on Facebook is the top thirds, whether that's in your group, on your page, on your personal profile, that's where people look first. So, and this is a big one. If you have a photo of you, your face, smiling, preferably, put that in the profile picture. I have seen some brilliant, brilliant people who are hypnotherapists and healers, masseuses, put pictures of their logos or lotus flowers there. And I just go, I don't want to be massaged by a lotus flower. I want to connect with a real person. And it is about actually becoming a, um, it is because it's about connecting. It's about being yourself, not your business on Facebook, because a mindset uh, set shift is needed to, to be able to, to draw people to you because people aren't drawn to a lotus flower. It doesn't matter how good a masseuse you are. If no, if nobody knows who you are, they're not going to want to connect with you. I'm sorry to say that. Well, actually, I'm not because it's time that we all looked up and went, okay, let's be ourselves because everywhere we go, there we are. And that's another like, half hour lecture. So I'll move on. The cover images. Now, if you have noticed that in the last two or three days that the cover image that you put onto your um, business page is all like all stretched and sliding off the end, especially if you're looking at it or even on a mobile or a, it's on, on PC. It looks bloody disgusting. Um, you can do the cover images. Now, you can do them in Canva. You can do them on your, your phone and ones that are templates for Facebook. And what's happened in the last few days is Facebook have made an adjustment to the dimensions that you use on your cover image. So you will, now what they've done is they're gearing everything up for mobile because 90% of people, I think it's 90%, 85 or 90% of people actually only ever, um, only use the mobile app. So they're, they're, everything has to be mobile friendly and mobile, like so it looks nice my, on, on mobile. So they've made an adjustment to the dimensions. Now, I don't have those dimensions off the top of my head. I would have had them had I had access to my, anyway, that's excuses. We're not going there. I want you to have a look in the news feed down here on my page. Just scroll up a little bit once I've finished. Don't leave here yet. And have a look for a, um, it is a short video that I shared either yesterday or the day before from Mari Smith. And she is telling us, 
what the new dimensions are so you might have to you will have to if you've got a cover image you will have to go back to the drawing board and resize it and make sure it's the right size for the new dimensions on your cover so that is something really important um because uh, otherwise it's going to look crappy and uh and you're just not giving yourself the best shot so that is really something if you are really wedded to having a logo there put it in the cover image or leave it as a profile but put your image in the cover image some just somewhere anywhere have a mug shot make a nice one all right so the next section is managing your tabs and your call to action buttons so you can see there's a heap of options there what you want to do is now i've actually have to update this health checklist because we have one of the things i ask is is your instant messaging turned on so your call to action buttons are the ones across the top and i used to say i used to say this is how fast things change in facebook so six months ago even five months ago four months ago i would say don't put the message button there because people get an option to send you a message anyway so if you said send message and you don't give any other options you are um oh beautiful there's joe again thank you in the comment section down here joe has actually put the link that to the video where mari explains it's only a very short video she explains what the new dimensions are thanks joe you are awesome so um so so I said a few months ago I would have been saying you don't put uh, choose a message message button as your call to action button under your cover image use a what are we doing for time okay we're cool um, use a um, use a watch video or learn more or something else because you automatically get the message button when you switch it on when you develop your page now now I've changed my tune and why is that you say because we've got the golden secret which is chatbots who's heard of chatbots just give me a thumbs up if you've heard of chatbots you come we haven't got thumbs down have we your thumbs up give me a heart if you've heard of chatbots give me a thumbs up if you haven't <laughs> because Okay, so thumbs up, yes, to Gordana. I'm imagining that that is, yes, you have heard of chatbots because you're in my Code Breakers group and uh, you probably would have heard, yes, you definitely. <laughs> yes, yes, Gordana's heard of chatbots. Okay, so now the idea is, I know, like I said, I'll be adjusting this. What I used to say was don't turn your, like have another call to action, like watch video or learn more or something like that. Now... Uh, for the people that we are working, John, I can see you've put something down there, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Mm. Is that a gift? A gift or a gift? I've got a message that's slightly covering that. I'll have to have a look at it after. But um, and so, before it was, you have a message. Um, oh, good, be hair out of place. See what's happening there? Yeah, all right, that's better. <laughs> myself on oh my god anyway it's been one of those days so refocus you know how you go squirrel um so with messenger chatbots emoji are oh, beautiful yay so you've seen seen them twice they're brilliant with with what i used to say before with messenger i would say make sure your message settings are turned on so you get the instant message and the out of office uh, greeting or the instant greeting and the out of office um a reply and that type of thing now with chatbots this has changed the the game completely it is a new world order that we live in what i'm going to suggest is you have that big message button plastered across the bottom of your um across the bottom of your cover image because you cook up your your chat bots and people subscribe to your chats or your chat bots and then 
what you can do is you can send out messages to them from your business page. So if you haven't heard of this, it's like a, it's you can do email broadcasts and like I said, I sent out a lot this morning and there's probably a whole heap of people sitting on the other link. Actually, it probably would have disappeared by now, but uh, going, well, where is she? She's not there and they probably wouldn't know to look here, but I might have to record this and like resend this out to the same uh, guys and say here it is because this is what happened so put message 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 get people to message you as often as you can but set up your chat box first that is that's one thing you take away from today do that um, managing your tabs uh, they're the like the ones on the left hand side of your page and you can have the things like um, I would suggest now they've got pages like so if you're doing lots of videos you can actually set your video your page to a video channel type thing like mytimetv.live which is one of the ones that I'm involved in well actually I own that one and I'm involved in BeLive TV as well but uh or be, and be live in five sorry Stephen and uh healy and T uh, tina shane um and i think net friending roy if you're still here or april i don't know what you uh have on your your pages settings but uh if you've got it set to a video channel video comes up first on the left hand side now there was i, I was watching a webinar yesterday and they were saying that i know mary mika said in i'll be end of last year about this time last year that um in five years time we'll be hard pressed to see any static posts in the news feed so it's all going to be video and i've noticed that myself <laughs> actually i've been doing more and more videos and less and less static posts so uh so you want the videos tab up there higher if you're not um if you're not comfortable doing video it's probably a good idea to start thinking about getting comfortable doing video and uh, we'll be looking at that a little bit more uh, in depth uh in the new year so uh so that's and you're managing tabs if you have a freebie or a giveaway have that up to the top of your your tab section as well so like i've got the health checklist i think i have that set to the second or third one at the top and then i've got all of my social media and other things like um, connection to pinterest and youtube and twitter and so you can just click on those and have a look at the whatever i'm doing and other social platforms straight from my business page so get them onto your business page too so it's sort of like well one-stop shop um let's see what else have we got this one here my favorite the about you section you see that about you i don't know if that's back to front or not but it's the about about you it's about section where you've got info you can put your website you can put your uh, phone number you can put you actually one thing to do in that section make sure it has a section now where it didn't have before where you can actually add team members so what that does is it connects your personal profile with your business page and again it really is another step in the direction of helping us to understand um, helping others to understand a bit more who we are and about us and it was funny because I was to tell you a little story here I went to the doctors the other day for the first time in like years because I'm pretty damn healthy which I'm grateful for and uh, it was just a regular checkup thing nothing to worry about folks and I I saw that they'd like um, they had a new doctor that I booked into uh, to see and I thought I'll just check her out on Facebook and it was so funny but I was able to stalk her on Facebook and sort of get a real feel for who she was and what she was about before I even met her so this was uh, and I felt quite comfortable about that when I did meet her it was like pretty cool if I didn't like what I saw I probably would have asked for another doctor but anyhow you can you can expect people to do that and if they're on your page and they want to know who you are, they will stalk you. And you want to make it easy for people to stalk you 
because you want to make it easy for people to get to know you. So connect your personal profile with your business page and also do it the other way around. You can now connect quite easily your business page with your personal profile. So um, do that. So and it says in the about section, put it in team, team member, I think it says team member. So the rest of it is uh, I've developed a formula for the about section because I see several different variations of it. The one, the most common one is it's written in the third person and it's complete wankery. Now, with all due respect to people who love academia, it's not supposed to be a thesis. It's supposed to be a conversation with a um, with a real human. Gordana, that is a brilliant question. How do you connect the pages? Can you ask me that in Code Breakers, please? Because I would love to show you. The resources are already in there, and uh, and this is. Um, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll show you how to do that. So just pop back over to Code Breakers and ask that question in the group. Um, it's, uh, if you, uh, I can show you, but uh, for people who want a, a quick rundown, if you go to the About section, it should say Add Team Member. You can add your personal profile. If you go to your personal profile there should be a section in the info that says you can manage as manage pages and then it highlights those pages and you could actually add your pages to that so in a nutshell that's it but still would you ask it in code breakers because there's probably other people there who don't know and i can actually do a quick demo and walk through how to do that so uh, about you quickly quickly there are three things to remember one is it's a formula, the U, we, I formula. The U part of it is about your client, not about you. Because the other thing I was going to say is so most of the health checks, uh, sorry, most of the pages that I look at, the about section just reads like a service directory. It's like, Bleh! okay, know your target audience. Know who your avatar is, who you want to deliver the service to. Put it in their language. You is about them. So are you tired of and address their problems too? Are you are you looking for? So for me it was um, in hypnotherapy, do you want to um, lose weight? Do you want to stop smoking? Um, are you tired of feeling unfit and, and, and unhealthy and, and wanting to, you know, sort of get more confidence or get more, you know, spring back into your step? What, what is it about your avatar or your target profile that your product or service is going to solve their problem then the next step is like you could only do one or maybe one or two paragraphs about that the next part is the we so we is together we will so together we will explore options for together we will look at Together we will walk through, together we will go on a journey to whatever it is that you do, but you're doing it together. You're not doing it to them and you're not doing it for them. You're doing it together. So it's more like a partnership. And the other thing is I. The last thing is, thank you, Gordana. She says, sure, Will. Yeah, you're a trooper. So the last thing is the I section, okay? So you, the first one, we and I. I... Um, I am, hi, I'm a dare Palmer, and my passion is to help 10,000 people help 100,000 people. So my primary audience are spiritual entrepreneurs and not-for-profits, and I want to help people help more people. So this is what I'm about, and this is what, um, this is what you got, this is my passion. Because even in the I section, then you might list what it is for you right down the bottom, like in terms of, and I've got a degree in marketing, which I haven't, and I've got, you know, like I've got a Bachelor of Social Science, I've got a Diploma in Project Management, I've got about five degrees, Masters in Education, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares about that. They really won't, they only really care about is can you do the job? Can you solve their problem? So leave that till last. I came from a government background where putting your qualifications 
like or was plastering them all over the wall was a sign of prestige and success and it actually didn't matter how crap you were at your job so I've sort of rejected that probably too much um it doesn't I'm really appreciative for the opportunity that I've had for the higher education but I actually see that there's more to life than just having a master's degree you know framed and hung on your wall I actually do use that um, as well let's move on posts and engagement posting regularly now posting regularly means different things to different pay um, different things to different businesses if you are a community group a community-based group or if you were like Tina Shang or David Burrows and you were doing uh, working in the community and had a page that was all around community like Tina was saying they were posting up to 200 posts a day but that was totally relevant and it was totally appropriate to do that because they were working out in their local community if you are someone like you know the people that I work with not-for-profits or you know spiritual entrepreneurs then you're uh, you're probably going to or even if you're a carpet cleaner or a plumber or a hairdresser or one of the more traditional trades um, you are or businesses you are probably wanting to look between I don't know maybe four or five or seven posts a week um, up to maybe 15 but it's not about how often you post it's all about how you engage and what sort of stuff that you post so again it goes back to your target audience just know who they are know what they want and get them get them you know give them what they want give them to a point where they've gone i want to see you first in the news feed so um so if anyone that's here what you can do is you can just click on the little three dots above and say see first in the news feed and uh, and i'll come up i've done that for a few people i think you can do it i was listening to molly mahoney and um adam abansky uh to this morning actually they did a webinar yesterday on how to connect with people great stuff if you can check out check her out she's on the that was done on the belive.tv page so go over and check that out if you're looking for a good webinar on how to connect with people they did a fantastic job so shout out to you two molly mahoney and adam abatsky who's molly's mentor okay i'm running over time a little bit i'll just take two more minutes because i think i started a little bit late um do a pinned post i used to uh, go yeah pin post pin post pin post pin post have a pin post but people use mobile and pin posts are hidden i don't know if you realize that you probably do it took me a little while to figure because i rarely use my mobile but um if you are targeting people who are your customers and clients and potential clients who are using mobile um then uh, a pin post probably isn't as important but what you can do is if you really want people to look at your pin post put on your cover picture a call to action to check out the pin post and now then you can change that up regularly and have um refreshing in, uh, like information if you've got evergreen information there i would suggest that you copy and paste it every week or every couple of weeks into a fresh post and repin it because otherwise it just looks old so uh, if the date is like past it's used by date people don't engage with it um bum, bum, bum. let's see engagement on your business page is critical it's like that self-licking ice cream that kim gas talks about if you don't have engagement facebook won't show anybody if you have engagement the more you ha engagement you have the more facebook will show it so that's on this section down here da, 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 right. this second to last section on the, up that page there we go there um and and then there i talk about things like um participating in uh, collaborative programs like super saturday where we all get together we like comment and share on each other's pages and we um uh, and i'm i'm working on a couple more variations of that program because i think that's the key it's collaboration and micro influencing uh which are the two i believe um things that will take us as small business owners into the future with facebook now especially with organic reach declining there's those two things that we can absolutely do more of um which is 
collaboration and micro influencing uh, with uh, so making sure that you're interacting with other business pages if you're doing posts if you're doing stuff with other people and with other business pages tag them and tag their posts I don't think you can actually tag now an individual unless they've liked your page so make sure that if you're uh, if you had a network group or a network meeting and you want to do you know do some stuff get each other to like each other's pages just whip out your phone and say what's your page here i'll give you a like yeah they give you a like and then when you do stuff that's relevant to them you can tag them on your page and um, and they can tag you and then it tells the algorithms that facebook is uh that the facebook algorithms that there's stuff happening on your page and people are engaging with it um the client customer review use the reviews Use and abuse the reviews. Don't abuse them. No, use them. Um, engage like this if you can. Ah, oh, Joe, you're brilliant. Give him some love. Rebel Web Solutions. Go like his page. Um, I'll expect a tag on your page a bit later, Joe. I can tag your page in mine. Thank you. We'll give you a shout out. Um, so the customer reviews celebrate the crap out of your reviews for your customers because some are so many pages i visit where you go to see a um a, a, have a look at the reviews and there might be a few reviews you know months in between and there might be the page might have liked them but they've not acknowledged the reviews when you get a review celebrate the crap out of it and make sure you share it share it to your profile share it to any groups that you that's appropriate and relevant to share in share it to um if you're a member of business groups you know they have hashtags uh, theme days most groups ask for something like what's your win so you could say hey my wins are these this is the well, the top review of the week and share it with others because that builds social proof for you um and um sorry social uh, builds prestige for you and it also builds social proof for people who are looking for your service they will have a look at your reviews and they'll go wow this is great if you have uh, if you're fairly new or if you're start just like starting out going all right well how can i get reviews just to um do things like offering uh, services or offer like uh, when i started doing health checks it, it does cost now to do health checks uh, but when i first started i was doing them for free uh well in exchange for a review and I didn't expect people to put a review on my page but I always asked everybody who did a review if they uh, that I did a health check for if they would put a review on my page and I probably will still continue to do that even though I'm now attaching a value to it which is $197 so those guys who had the free health checks you got massive massive value um, and uh, so always ask and have have an opportunity if you put it on your invoices have a link go into settings edit page then you can go down to review you can grab the url you can put it into a bitly link shortener and you can call it review your review this page or review my service and then you can put it in your email signature you can send it out in messages you can put it on your invoices you can get like that way you can get as many reviews as possible when you get reviews then and the thing with the um the local app I, I spoke about last week where that's hey alfredo thank you for joining me and us and like it's so cool to see you here i'm just about ready to wind up but great that you could pop in so um so what what i would suggest is that um with the new local app that's not available in australia yet but it's uh, like events uh, for an app for events but that is actually <laughs> tell us about your day oh <laughs> well you want to know about my day when i jump off alfredo you can check from the beginning because it was just a horrendous morning but anyway that's another story so um do check out when the app gets here um we can use it but i think it's going to be like yelp like foursquare like you know facebook events meetup eventbrite it's going to be all of those built into one app and if you've got reviews and recommendations on your page i think this is my crystal ball here i think it's actually going to help you get maybe higher in the rankings and the recommendations that people are looking for so say if there's two spiritual events happening in the same 
area on the same day and you're looking for us uh, to go to a spiritual event um, or a personal growth event then I, I think that all those factors at some point will be taken into account don't quote me on this but this is my crystal ball gazing so the stronger the more the the faster that you build your presence and you build that um, what what's happening now uh, the the stronger you'll be when 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 it hits us so here's that's just a little bit of advice for you then now the other stuff which is right down the bottom um i think most people call it miscellaneous yes so i just called it other stuff because that's what miscellaneous means using events app uh you could probably use events app for anything online workshops uh, obviously offline workshops and i know that uh, people who do the um do network marketing or direct sales use it for online sales there is a whole heap of stuff you can use events app for use it and any way you possibly can using notes notes is great um and alfredo saying yeah i'm just winding down you're winding down i'm winding up for the day i've got some techie stuff to deal with when i get off of here and uh and building your social presence online alfredo saying yeah absolutely we use it to build our social presence online so the use of notes is um, I use, was using that before I got my blog website happening and I still use it occasionally and I think it's uh, really valuable. I did a short one not so long ago when Facebook announced the Explore tab. You can have a look at that if you look on the whichever side it is on my page here under the menus. It's got notes. Have a look. The last one that was written is called Facebook Explore and uh, I actually sent, wrote it in notes and I sent it out via my email list and uh, and sent it to people who I'd actually sent health checks, had done health checks for, so they were updated in things that were possibly happening coming down the line for their business pages. Use video, uh, photos, it's uh, always um, a good fallback, but use of videos is critical, uh, lives as well as pre-recorded. Get your page verified if you can. I actually heard just yesterday that there were some people in, uh, someone contacted me from Pakistan, I believe, who was not able to verify their page and it actually didn't even show up as an option. So I don't know whether that's got something to do with the category of the page. But uh, as far as, so that's the first time I've heard of that. But uh, from where I could see that if your page isn't verified, it's sort of like, the uh, uh, Facebook's made you jump through some hoops to prove that your business is legit and uh, and it, you'll get the verified pages with a little circle with a uh, grey tick, grey tick, uh, just under your cover profile, uh, sorry, your profile picture on desktop shows that you're a business that's been verified. If you've got a blue check, tick it means that you're a public person or a personality or some you know sort of um celebrity that uh, that's had that's been verified by facebook so you know that when you you jump onto um uh tom tom hanks's page that you know that it's the real tom hanks's page and it's not a facsimile thereof because he's proved to facebook that he's the real deal so Gordana saying she couldn't verify by, via her phone number and I couldn't either Gordana I still haven't verified my pages but I think that is um, so um, Alfredo saying proving our business is verified it's just verifying your pages um, and you can I, I sent away uh, would I send my Australian business number registration and that wasn't uh, good enough for them so they wanted a business registration which I actually haven't registered a business name because I've just got the ABN and I, I sort of run the ABN under a couple of different um, um, like all, all the bit the business finance goes through the ABN so um, and so I just trade like under Adair Palmer um, and so it's I don't know they obviously didn't recognize it but there you go so you're not proving your business is verified you're verifying your business page to show you're a legit business I think I hope that makes sense Alfredo uh, and milestones now milestones uh, used to be on where you'd post 
and you do a status update on your page it's now above in the little three like the little i think they call it a hamburger the three dots click on that it will drop down and put your milestones in and celebrate the crap out of everything because facebook loves a good party so you get to 100 likes hit a milestone you get to a thousand members in your group hit a milestone have um your, your doors are open if you're a bricks and mortar business your doors are open for you know 12 months two years whatever celebrate 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 because it is an awesome opportunity and it also gives you a bit of a record when you look back and you can say wow so oh yeah <laughs> there's my timekeeper joe saying 15 minutes extra time value this is totally total value um and if I didn't take that five or ten minutes whinging about what happened this morning, <laughs> I would have got it in on time. That is the health check. That is the health check. I actually, I do these in an hour. So to when I get myself back up and running on uh, Be Live and on my laptop and getting the, the on my PC getting all that happening, uh, no, I'll both, both. Alfredo, if you're talking channel, like I've got the TV channel on mytimetv.live. Celebrate my milestones there uh, because it's essentially a business page. They just call it a TV channel. So um, you celebrate it on your page. So that's where you do. So, all right. Uh, thank you all for jumping in and joining in and giving me the support and the, you know, the hearts that I needed today because it was just one of those mornings. And uh, I'll go and find the other 50 or so people that I was hoping would jump in. <laughs> and we will, to uh, next week, we will have this up and running come hell or high water. I might have to sell something to get another computer. I wonder what my kids do. No, 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 it's illegal to sell your kids, isn't it? Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. I will see you next week. Bye for now.